Welcome to Dorista. I'm Kino Gri. Any longtime viewer of the channel will know me as a super dimensional time traveling VR exploring magical girl. But did you know that I also have access to meat space? I'm taking my meat body on a road trip in the United States of America. Let's see how it goes. Well, I guess this is an okay way to begin day three. I'm lost. And I'm lost after being lost, and I was lost before that. But I at least did find a landmark. No lifeguards swim at your own risk. I wonder if we're looking at the same dried up desert. Okay, I gotta go find some Wi Fi and a map and figure out where I am. I figured out where I am. I wanted to visit the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument and. I was having some difficulty finding the entrance. Google supposed I could come down to the south side and enter through here, which is where I am now. Now this place is huge. To give you an idea, my three fingers here are about 10 kilometers, which is about six miles. So my options to get anywhere into the monument are this unimproved Jeep trail, where you need four wheel drive. That's not happening. There's this gravel road, which I might be able to take, but it is called unimproved. So I don't think I should be on that either. I think it would be really risky to go into the park from this direction for me. So I'm going to have to pass on the Staircase Escalante Monument today. It's a bit sad, but sometimes that's how it goes. This would be me if I went, and this would be me shortly after. Heat risk. Hi. Now that part is evident. I'm roasting here. It's like 35 degrees already. Fire danger. Very high. Yeah, it's everything's dry. Flash floods. Possible. Well, at least I can cool off and get a drink. This is interesting. This sign forbids people from releasing the ashes of cremated people because it's against the belief of the Navajo cultures. We're on Navajo land right now, which we can talk about more later, but this is a uh, kind of a lack of multiculturalism. It's interesting how these things we... <laughs> Being that we're on Navajo land, they have things in what I presume is the Navajo language written down. This, this is an ugly language in writing. Everything about this speaks of um, linguists trying to write crap down and not really people deciding which looks good. And, I really hate linguists. I really, really, really hate linguists. It is 36 and a half degrees. It is unspeakably hot and it's bright and sunny. So what brings me here? Well, I've been really lost today. So it's this thing. This marks where four of the states in the United States meet. Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. So, now I know where I am. I might be a time traveling here in a sea and magical girl, but it's not often I'm in four places at once, even when I'm lost in space. I'm supposed to be going this way. Ha! Ah, they've locked us in. Well, this is getting serious. Also, I lied about the temperature. It's 37 degrees. Well, that was a big day. It's since I left Levensworth, I've driven over 1,500 miles. The plans that I originally had today got cancelled because of COVID things, so I moved on to trying something else, and then I got lost. Very, very lost. Today was almost all driving, and there wasn't much I could show. Dinner tonight is burgers again, which doesn't make me very happy. Before I leave New Mexico, where I am right now, I'm going to try to have chile relleno. It's a lovely dish of a, what is it? A roasted chili stuffed with cheese. And chilies are a speciality of Mexico. So I'm quite looking forward to it. I'm in the life support module of my spaceship settling down after a big day. Corona canceled my initial plans and then getting lost canceled my plans after that. I had a battle with ancient Indian ghosts and then I got totally lost in time and space. The vistas that you go through in lost in time and space in northern Arizona are always changing. 
Every time I got used to it, I went around the bend and there was a new color or over a hill and there was a new shape of landform that I can't even have a name for. I drove over 600 miles today and the uh, trip odometer since we left Levensworth is over 1,700 miles. But tomorrow is the end of my journey and I have a special mission and a special place to do it. But until then, it's time for a nap. On every journey, there is a setback that must be overcome, and day three was my setback. Due to the conditions of the flag in the United States, I had to cancel my original plans, and then due to navigational errors, I just didn't know where I was going. But I always knew I was exactly where I was, and so I never really felt nervous or or some anxiety from being lost. Um, I just was very happy that even though I didn't get to do what I planned, I was able to do the things that I was still doing. I still saw many, many beautiful things, but I felt that there was the potential for danger. If my vehicle wasn't in good repair, if I hadn't made sure I had enough fuel and lots and lots of water and some food, things could have gone very, very poorly, very, very quickly. Um, but they didn't for me. I'm moving on to the fourth day, which is the last episode. I hope to see you there. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.